plant gang, Salvia farinaceae, the mealy cup sage. This is a type of salvia, hardy from zones eight and above. In mild winters, I have had this over winter in zone four, but a very herbaceous salvia, one that's planted quite often as an annual. Uh, this one in front of me is called Mystic Spires, and you can see these spires of purple blooms that are shooting up out of this plant. And I'm enjoying the bumblebees in particular all over these, this plant right here, just from this end to this end, completely covered in bumblebees. Now, if I get in here and I start to feel this plant a little bit, very kind of fleshy feeling, uh, but much like all salvias, the stems have a squarish feel to them. Uh, and so when you think salvia, get in there and actually touch the stem to know what you're talking about. Uh, of all the salvias that uh, at least I'm gonna talk about, uh, this is one of them that is uh, used mostly for an annual. Uh, but a great pollinator plant, a great bluish purple color typically. There are some blooms that have some white in them, some more purple, some of them more blue. Uh, so, and you really want to uh, find a place in full sun for this plant. And it could be a great annual or tender perennial temperennial to add to the home landscape. Salvia farinaceae, mealy cup sage in the Lamaceae family, opposite to world, ovate to lanceolate leaves, coarsely serrated green leaves are what you're looking for. Two to three foot high, hardy from zones eight and above, uh, but again in a mild winter, can overwinter in zone seven. Downy mildew, powdery mildew, potentially some damping off problems, could be disease that you wanna look out for, but if you give it full sun, you've got pretty good uh, wind movement, I think you're gonna be okay. We've planted them uh, in the UT Gardens, the State Botanical Garden, in a mounded situation where they get great drainage, but also good air circulation. And here's a landscape tip. Excellent choice for a prolonged color and low maintenance in areas of extreme heat.